Hi, this is JP from Not Alive Over Arkham. Uh, this time we are playing the second scenario in the Return to the Circle Undone campaign with Wendy Adams. So, uh, last time we were able to defeat the Witching Hour and get 8 experience. And uh, uh, first off, let's look what upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com. Uh, let's look what upgrades I uh, did to the deck. So, no big flashy upgrades, just the essentials first. So we remove two attest of wheels from the deck. This is because we were replacing them with the level 2 versions. Uh, these are really good, zero cost and also you test to see if you have to exile them. So uh, these are pretty good for dodging those treacheries that would wreck you. So I really <laughs> recommend using these cards in this campaign at least. Uh, second uh, upgrade basically was uh, removing two lockpicks and replacing them with two level 1 lockpicks. Uh, th this makes the lockpicks a lot more stable, so uh, you won't lose them if you fail a skill test. So that is why I usually spend one experience, uh, two experience to upgrade both of the lockpicks to level one. Uh, the last experience I had was two experience, which I used to remove two lone wolves because I think we don't need that much cash in this deck and we uh, replace them with uh, two Altar Fates. These are placeholders for the level 3 Altar Fates, which cost only one and are passed. So uh, these are just in case we need them. They have okay symbols for this uh, campaign and our playstyle for now. And later on, when I get the more experience, I will upgrade these to level 3. Uh, and they are really good in this, uh, in this campaign. Uh, those were all of the changes uh, I made to the deck, so not that many cards were changed, only a few cards were upgraded and a couple of cards changed, so that is basically it. Okay, and uh, we have set up the scenario, um, because we decided to uh, have this scenario have the tarot card upright, so justice will be upright for this. Uh, scenario, so we cancel the first doom that would be placed on the final agenda of the game. So that would gives us one extra turn to get out of the <laughs> manor when all hell breaks loose. Uh, we uh, added six uh, clues to the balcony where uh, Penny White got uh, was disappeared, uh, vanished. Uh, then we had three evidence, so we removed three, so we have only three clues there. Uh, we also have a new location, wine cellar, in play, and we have also the new uh, enemy, Senator Nathaniel Rhodes, in play. Nathaniel Rhodes starts with the one clue on him. We can uh, parlay to get the clue out of him, and that, that is basically a good thing, which we should do. And mm, yeah, that is basically it. Nothing that fancy in, in, uh, in this uh, scenario, a new location, some new uh, treachery cards of course, and stuff like that, but uh, we are basically ready to begin, so let's get started. We are ready to begin, let's draw our opening hand of five cards, let's see is our pl game plan, so we get all keyring, uh, we reshuffle the weakness, uh, we get Wendy's amulet, really good. Um, waylay, not that necessary at the beginning, letter code, not that necessary, I'll keep the unexpected courage, draw two more cards, <laughs> abandon and alone, let's redraw, so track shoes and backstab, so good maneuver. Oh. Uh, good maneuverability, good investigating, and uh, when this amulet, I think this is a pretty good start for the uh, scenario. I think first turn we will play when this amulet, track shoes, and uh, then uh, parlay with the senator to get clue. 
uh, of course, uh, the senator might get, uh, because uh, he is a humanoid called this Silver Twilight, so some cards will add Doom on him. Uh, there is also an effect that uh, Paul A uh, will power to, to speak with the senator if you succeed, either take control of one of his clues or flip one Doom on him to its clue side if you fail with one of his clues to its doom side, so uh, I think we really want to succeed in that <laughs> parlay test and get moving. But that is a free clue for us at the start, which is really good. Uh, that is the deck shuffled. Uh, first action of the game. Let's play the track shoes. Uh, cost three. Second action, we will play Wendy's amulets. And uh, last action, we will uh, parlay with the senator. So I'm testing a willpower two against willpower. Uh, uh, I mean willpower four against willpower two test. So we are two up already. And uh, tablet uh, minus two if you fail, and this is an attack or evasion attempt. Resolve its uh, haunted ability on your location. Well, we succeed. We'll grab this clue, and that is our turn. No enemy actions, we'll, uh, because the senator is aloof. We'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, and we gain one resource. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, the doom. Uh, one of eight encounter cards for the first turn is a Screeching Banshee. So it's a monster guide spectral. So. Uh, at the start, uh, uh, Silver Twilight enemies cannot be damaged or defeated. Force when you draw a monster enemy instead of spawning it, set it aside out of play and place one Doom on this agenda. This effect can cause this agenda to advance. So, this goes somewhere here. Hmm, I'm just thinking, maybe I'll just pile them over here. And uh, we'll get an extra Doom. So we lose a turn, that is nice, but we at least don't get a treachery card for this turn. First action will move the victory on the whole. No, 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 first, first action. Uh, let's first use the one resource to play the old key ring to have it in play because we are going to need it soon enough. Now, second action, we'll move to the Victorian Hall and we'll immediately use the uh, track shoes to try to get an extra movement out of this movement and we'll move to the, try to move to the master bedroom because we want to uh, get those clues out of the balcony. Uh, it is a minus one. Uh, we succeed, so we'll get the move, so we'll move to the master bedroom. There's one clue here, a shroud of three. That is not a clue. There is a clue. Uh, first, when the round ends, if there is at least one investigator in the master bedroom, place one doom on the nearest silver twilight enemy. Okay, so uh, we played, moved, and we'll move so we won't stay there for the uh, end of the turn so we don't have to place the doom. And we are at the balcony. There are three clues here. And uh, uh, Shroud of One action discard cards from your hand with a total of at least three uh, in intellect icons. Parlay the guest here knows uh, more about the Silver Trial Lords than they let on again two clues. So if I get those. Uh, symbols I might just do that to get the clues but we'll see so uh, that was the investigation phase no enemy actions we'll go to upkeep we draw card and it is an old key ring which is perfect because now we can use the unexpected courage and old key ring to trigger that ability uh, and we gain one resource so uh, that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add another doom uh, three of eight and count card for this turn is uh, Fate of All Fools. Uh, so this is the new version from the new set. 
a revelation if there is no other copy of Fate of all fools in play put Fate of all fools in play in your threat area otherwise an investigator with another copy of Fate of all fools in their threat area draws the top card of the encounter deck that card gets peril it, its effects cannot be cancelled and cards cannot be committed to this to, to skill test while resolving the revelation effect so this comes into play and at the moment we don't have any cards to get rid of that uh, we have alter fates in our deck so we could remove that later but for now it stays in play so that is the mythos phase first action uh, i think we are just doing that uh, extra action there i'm committing or hearing an unexpected courage so we commit three icons and we'll gain two tools from the token pool Again, my, my clues are a bit mixed with my resources. Okay, so we have three clues already. That is really good. First, uh, I mean, second action, we'll just investigate uh, three versus one. Not committing anything to this test at the moment. Elder Sign. Uh, if Wendy's amulet is in play, you automatically succeed. So we'll get one clue. And last action, we'll investigate again. So. Uh, 3 vs 1 Oh yeah, this should be ready so 3 vs 1 uh, We actually fail Yeah, so it is a 0, we don't have anything to lose that with I will discard the track shoes and try again with Wendy's ability Minus one, that is enough. We'll grab a clue. When this ability is really strong, I think in uh, true all of. So that is our investigation phase. No enemy actions. We've got upkeep. We draw a card. Professor William Webb, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. Four of eight. And counter card for this turn is. It is a lodge neophyte. So it is a 3 fight 1 help to evade a humanoid called the Silver Twilight, spawn any empty location, aloof, uh, forced after launch neophyte enters play, place 1 doom on it, parlay, test, will power 2, if you succeed remove all doom from launch neophyte. And uh, empty locations, I think we'll, we are not gonna befriend this uh, launch do this so just place it over somewhere one doom there and uh, put it in the billiard room for now uh, first action is to investigate I am investigating uh, Yeah, I'm just investigating uh, uh, 3 versus 1. Plus 1, we'll grab this clue. Second action, we'll move to the master bedroom. Last action, I will investigate. I'm using the old keyring. I'm investigating 3 versus 1. It is a minus two, so that is enough. We grab this clue, and that is our turn. Uh, so when the round ends, okay, so not yet. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw a card, we get lock picks, we gain one resource. And at the end of the round, when your round ends, if there is at least one investigator in the master bedroom, place one doom on the nearest silver tw twilight enemy. So that is the senator. So we could move uh, Pale Pale to get that clue, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Doom, so we are not advancing yet next turn, so that could be a, actually a good play. But we'll see. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, 7 of 8. And counter card for this turn is uh, Bloodthirsty Spirits. Terror, Spectral, uh, Revelation, Football. Blood spirits into play in the threat area. 
While your location is wanted, plus an additional cost for you to commit one or more cards to the skill test, you must resolve each haunted ability on your location. Forced at the end of your turn, test will power 3. If you succeed, discard plot thirsty spirits. Okay, well, that is not that bad. A first action will move. We'll use the track shoes to move again. Uh, 5 versus 3. No need to commit anything at this point. It is an auto fail, uh, so I'm thinking I will discard the lockpicks. Try again. It is a minus two, so five versus three, we are able to get the extra move. We will parlay the senator for four versus two. Uh, it is enough, minus two, so this flips to the uh, blue side. Last action, we will again parlay four versus two, try to get that two. So it's another auto fail. I am actually gonna uh, I'm gonna discard the backstab. Yeah. So try again. It is uh, minus two, so we'll grab the clue. And that is all we can do this turn. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clues. Uh, gathered, that is plenty, I think. Uh, so, uh, let's see. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. Uh, oh, yeah, we test this at the end of the turn, so before we go to upkeep, actually. So, uh, four versus three. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Minus one, that is. Guarded. Now upkeep we draw a card, unexpected courage and gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, and this ready, so let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Uh, we are at seven of uh, eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and counter card for this turn is uh, Fed of all fools, so uh, an investigator with another copy. Uh, yeah, so we just uh, draw another counter card. Or, actually, I have to reread this because it has some strange. So if there is no other copy of Fate of All Fools in play, put Fate of All Fool, uh, Fools in play in your threat area. Well, there is. Otherwise, an investigator with another copy of Fate of All Fools in their threat area draws the top card of the encounter deck. That card gains peril. Its effects cannot be cancelled and cards cannot be committed to the test. Okay, so that it just uh, will uh, draw this. And it is the Mysterious of the Lodge. Place one Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Then, until the end of the round, increase the difficulty to fight, evade, or parlay with that enemy by two. If no Doom is placed by this, uh, this game search, so I just place a Doom on the Senator. Uh, that, that doesn't cause the agenda to advance, thankfully. So we have a turn to try to parlay and get that move. So that, uh, there's at least that. So, uh, first action, a uh, wheel. Uh, so I'm actually committing this card, so we are pulling uh, 6 versus 4. No, uh, we'll just try 4 versus 4. Uh, minus 2, we fail. Try again. 4 versus 4. Zero, uh, so this flips to blue side, and I think we want to succeed. So I'm com committing the unexpected curse for the last action. Uh, four versus uh, six versus four, so we're up by two. Hopefully, we get this also. 
another zero. So we grab this clue. And that is our turn. Oh, enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. Draw a card. We get alter fate. Gain one resource. So that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, so the agenda advances. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so. In investigators do not possess three clues to prove they lose all of their clues. If the investigators possess at least at least three clues uh, per investigator as a group, they must spend three clues and spawn the set aside Joseph Miger enemy at the location other than the entry hall that is farthest from all investigators. Open the campaign card to proceed pro and proceed to interlude one, a record of those lost. Once this interlude has been resolved, remove all clues from each location in play and uh, advance to Act 1B. So we spent three clues. That is okay. We'll uh, go to the. Uh, we don't have any clues in play. We'll go to the interlude. So uh, we search for the Penny, penny White. Uh, so under missing persons next to Penny White's profile, record the investigators are on Penny's trail. Because uh, if there are no clues on the balcony, so we can uh, resolve that. And now we uh, advance to Act 1B. Move each investigator and each enemy currently in the entry hall, the Victorian's hall. So we'll move uh, this enemy and ourselves to the Victorian hall. For each location in play, find the set aside spectral version that location and swap them. All tokens, cards, and former locations are now considered to be at the new location. If there is an investigator at that location, reveal it. In play order, each investigator spawns one of the set aside monster enemies at his or her location until each of the set aside monster enemies has been spawned. Spawn the set aside uh, spectral watcher enemy in the entry hall, shuffle the remaining remainder of the set aside watcher encounter set and the set aside realm of death encounter set into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. So uh, we get uh, these two encounter sets in play, the watcher comes into play. So we'll just shuffle these first and then we get jo Joseph Miger, we get uh, the haunted locations. There's a, some setup here, but I think I can just that quite quickly here. So just uh, shuffle these first. Okay, then uh, we'll uh, remove the wine cellar, add the wine cellar, uh, the entry halls, changes to this one, Victorian halls, uh, changes to this one, and it's revealed because we are in it. Office changes to this one. Uh, balcony changes to this one. Billiards room changes to this one. Master bedroom changes to this one. And the toilet room. That is all. And uh, we spawn Joseph Miger at the forest location from all investigators. So we'll just spawn him at the balcony. Because we have a tie. Like so. So I think that is everything. Uh, so the Spectral Watcher uh, spawn it there. And we get this uh, Screeching Banshee on, on us. So we'll just put this here. Okay. And I think that is everything now. We need to uh, spend four clues to advance, which I think we do immediately. But uh, we'll first uh, resolve the treachery for this turn. So that was the start of the mythos phase. So we advanced and now we do the uh, encounter card for this turn. 
and it is the mist from beyond. Uh, revelation attacks to your location. Attacks location gets plus one shroud force. At the end of the round, if there are no pools on attacks location, move mist from beyond once towards the nearest location with one or more clues. Okay, I'll just uh, just put it there because it's a moving card. Okay, and uh, first action. I think we could just uh, say screw it and leave every Twilight uh, Acolyte and dude here on there to resolve their fate on their own. But I think we could grab a couple of uh, victory points perhaps first. So, first action. I will evade uh, the Reaching Banshee, so uh, force when you deal one or more damage uh, to Screeching Banshee, except for spell or relic, res resolve each haunted ability at its location. So we're not uh, not gonna hit that enemy. So ah, uh, I, I think we just say screw it, or or should we? Hmm. I think let's look what happens if we just advance. So we'll spend the four clues here. Uh, this is a free action, so it doesn't trigger any attacks of opportunity. So uh, the mist blocks your escape receipt. The mist blocking your ex escape receipt. Uh, reveal the entry hall. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into counter deck. There is nothing in there, so we just won't shuffle. So now we could just move there and resign. But, let's see. Uh, forced at the end of the round, each silver trial enemy in the entry hall escapes. Place them beneath the entry hall uh, out of play. Move each ready silver trial twilight enemy with the aloof keyword once towards the entry hall. Objective if each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. So, we could just uh, end the scenario here. But, I think we have a good way to get a couple of victory points, we could uh, just wait for Joseph to resign, and uh, that is that, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So yeah, uh, the first action now, finally, is to uh, evade this uh, screeching banshee. Auto fail, I think I will discard the Professor uh, to draw again. Zero. Uh, this uh, enemy is evaded. We'll just place it over here. Uh, second action will move to the master bedroom. There is uh, three shroud and one crew. Last action. I will just uh, investigate here. I'm using the old key ring, so three, uh, three versus one. It is a plus one. We'll grab this clue, and that is a victory point location, so pretty good. And that is our turn. Uh, enemy turn uh, the spectral watcher here. Uh, hits and kills another Naternal Road, so this guy goes under the victory display. And uh, these guys move at the end of the round. Each silver twelve enemy in the entry hall escape. Move each ready silver twelve. Yeah, so they escape and move at the same time. So this moves here, this moves here, and actually, uh, actually, uh, Joseph doesn't have the aloof, so Joseph doesn't move yet. So we might need to go and uh, parlay him if we want to, we might just be to die. And uh, that is the enemy phase, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a backstab and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we'll add a doom, encounter card for this turn is, uh, the doom threshold is uh, 11 by the way. So, 
So each Silver Twilight enemy gains uh, victory one and counts as an investigator for the purpose of determining where under enemies move during the enemy phase. After the under enemy move step of the enemy phase, each ready spectral enemy deals its damage value to each humanoid enemy at its location. So actually the senator wouldn't have died yet because it's the damage and not the horror. So the spectral watcher only hit it for one damage. So that was a bit of a misplay from me. You'd still head there to save that uh, senator, but maybe not. So I think we are happy with the one victory point and we'll just uh, escape the manor and leave these guys to die. Oh yeah, and counter card for this turn is Mr. from beyond, so this comes into play. Uh, there are no clues, so this won't move, so just ignore them. Okay, and uh, uh, first action we'll just uh, end this here. So we'll move here and we'll use the uh, track shoes, commit these two to the test. Uh, seven versus three. It is a minus three because we're in a haunted location, but that doesn't matter. It is not. We move over to the entry hall and we resign. So a bit of a, a woozy move, but it is what it is. I think we are uh, siding with the witches and not the silver twilight this time around. So we'll just resign and so we advance this. So uh, alive for now. So we go to resolution 1, we'll see resolution 1, and uh, let's see, resolution 1, in your camper log record, the investigator escaped the spectral realm, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory x value of each car in the victory display, and that is at the moment 1. Then uh, we'll proceed to the price of progress, uh, number two, which takes us to number three, and uh, number three uh, we check, uh, so uh, check the silver twilight enemies in the victory display and beneath the entry hall. Uh, Joseph Miger is not there. Uh, Joseph Miger is not there. If I, neither of these, the above is true, the number of silver enemies in the victory is equal to greater than the number of beneath them. It is equal, so we go to uh, number four. So uh, Joseph disappeared into the mist. Uh, investigators are enemies of the lodge, and we go to the scenario three, the secret name. So, um, yeah, that that was quite a fast run with uh, Wendy. Um, I didn't go to the wine cellar because I'm not sure if it, that's in any way uh, smart in true solo. It, uh, it's not even a victory point location. Uh, we could have uh, go to the billiards room to get the victory point, or to the office, and uh, that is it. Well, um, no, I think that would have just uh, made this a lot more harder. Uh, we could have stuck around a bit more, but uh, I think the deck is fine for the secret name as it is. Uh, we'll uh, bank the one experience and uh, upgrade something before wages of sin, maybe, if we get some uh, experience from the secret name. We'll see, that is a really tough scenario for true solo, so we might end up getting um, a, a few, only a few experience from that. But yeah, hope you guys like this playthrough. Uh, look forward to the next scenario, the secret name. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.